paths and graphs. A GB graph, when n is greater than or equal to 1, a sequence of n distinct vertices in G is called a path. And moreover, it's called a path from x1 to xn. If xi is adjacent to xi plus 1, whenever 1 is less than equal to i is less than n. So vacuously, any sequence of a single vertex is also a path. Any sequence of a single term is a path. Here's an example. I show a graph, and I show the sequence 7, 9, 8, 5, 2, 6, 4. And I claim that's a path from 7 to 4 in this graph. So what must you check? You must check that the vertices listed are all distinct. 7, 9, 8, 5, 2, 6, 4. Yep, they're all distinct. Now what I must check is that each consecutive pair is an edge in the graph. 7 to 9, yep. 9 to 8, yep. 8 to 5, yep. 5 to 2, yes. 2 to 6, yes. 6 to 4, yes. So that's a path. By the way, can you extend that path? Can you either prepend or append something on the front or the rear of this path and make it longer? I think the answer is yes. Well, I know the answer is yes. And so do each of you. Now I'm going to ask you a little harder question. Can you extend this path in such a way that the resulting path touches every vertex exactly one time? So when you have a graph, The question is, does it have a path which touches every vertex exactly one time? And that's called a Hamiltonian path. Visits each vertex exactly one time. There's no restriction about where you start, and there's no restriction about where you end. Now, I'm going to ask you just to look at that picture and tell me whether or not that graph has a Hamiltonian path? Yes or no? If we were in a smaller room, I might draw this on the board and then invite someone who says yes to come up and indicate the path. Now, you could indicate the path, but you see, in this case, Notice I did not label the vertices, did I? So another thing we would say about this graph is that this is an unlabeled graph. And there's an obvious notion of what it means for a graph to be labeled and unlabeled. But still, I can ask whether or not I can 
Determine a path that visits every vertex exactly one time. Now, I'm just going to try it. I, this is silly. I, I'm going to try it. I, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm not really following any strategy except I'm just trying. Got to be a little careful. It's easy, easy to get this going. Okay. And I did it. Agreed? That's a, a Hamiltonian path. Now, if I put, if I put labels on the vertices, which I might, you know, I might say one, three, two, four, seven, six, nine, etc. Then you you could specify this Hamiltonian path just by listing the vertices in order, and it wouldn't matter whether you listed them from the front to the back or from the back to the front. The path, either way, is the notion of a Hamiltonian path clear to you? Now, it could be a Hamiltonian cycle. That's a stronger word. We'll talk about cycles more formally. But in a Hamiltonian cycle, the last vertex has to be adjacent to the first vertex. And that's not the case the way I've done it. Is that clear to you? Here's my starting. Here's my starting and finishing points, and they are not adjacent. Here's my question to you: Could I have been more clever and found a Hamiltonian cycle in this graph? Throw this away. And do And I think most of you are saying yes. And let me attempt to make some modest number of changes in this and make it work. I think if you start out like this and go like this and go like that and then follow the rest around, Screwed that up, didn't it? <laughs> what, what point am I trying to make here? <laughs> this is hard. Because I'm not, I'm not really doing anything except sort of exploring and seeing what might possibly work. I, I wasn't really following any systematic process. Okay, there was a question here? Okay. This might be hard. This might be real hard. Okay. Size of paths, how big are they? Many authors, many texts, many papers will measure a path in terms of the number of edges. So if you have a path A, B, C, D, E, it has five vertices and four edges. And so they'll talk about length in the number of edges. Edges. And so they will say that's a path of length four. Other authors, other books, other papers will be more interested in the number of vertices. And so in order to avoid confusion, 
I'm going to talk about the size of a path, and the size of the path will count the number of vertices. I'll, I'll never talk about length of a path and use the word length to count the number of vertices. I'll say the size of the path. So the path A, B, C, D, E has size 5. And then I put the footnote down at the bottom. In about two months, we'll change our minds and say, well, there's something to this length uh, after all. And maybe we should pay a bit more attention to that concept. But for now, size, size, number of vertices.